So, good morning, everybody. Dear friends, Nay Salgi, Harik, board members of Harik, invite you to Shub Kamnai, Vara Naya Sal Chajai, Ache Kamgare, Ache Logotak, Watch by Jada Sijada Logotak, Mujiko Pochai. So, yes, Shub Kamnai, Absapo de Rome. It's a pleasure to be here. Or Absablog, with their really so great people, everybody has come within time on the board, on the meeting. Mm -hmm. So, I will talk to our board members about this. I will talk to our board members about this. What is our program now? What are we As such, that was told to all governing body members. But I will talk to you all about this. We will talk about this in the meeting. So, first of all, I will talk to you all about 10 मिनट पहले मिले इसके लिए कि वो वांटेड कि हम लोग 5-7 मिनट बात कर सके सी वी विल बी गेटिंग टुगेदर विद इन 5 मिनट्स तो सबसे पहले तो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द फाउंडेशन आई विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाट एवर थिंग्स दैट वी हैव डन और व्हाट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डॉक्टर विश्वला पर्टिकुलरली एंड देन एंड एट द एंड ऑफ माय टॉक I will release the issue, remembers issue, memorial issue, Dr. Vishwala Mem. Then I will request Dr. Pritri to show the first page and then she will also show the how to download it. After that, I will request Dr. Pran Kumar who will take over to introduce all our board members one by one. After his talk actually, Dr. Ajit Kulkani being the editor of the first issue, he will talk about the issue and then he will release the first issue of our IGH. And after that, Dr. Asrani sir will conclude you, will give a conclusive talk as well as thanksgiving to everybody. Thanks to everybody. So this is our plan. By almost 8:20, yeah, by 8:25, we'll finish the entire program. Our idea is to introduce ourselves to the entire fraternity and that's the planning that we have done. If you want to suggest something, you can do it. Otherwise, these were in planned out. So we don't have much time in the morning. A lot of people have got their puja on the first day of this new year. And this morning hours are always precious. Everybody is busy with the work. Even though we have got a good number of people have already joined nearly 50. So that's a good beginning. So I think uh, we'll start within a couple of minutes, right? So that would be fairly yes. good. Anything that you would like to suggest? Uh, well, fair enough, uh, considering the time limitations. It's, yes. I think very decently turned out. Right. Good. Anything else, sir? Dr. Asrani, sir, nice to see you at Delhi. <laughs> no, sir, enough. You got it right, enough? That's good. Maybe lunch ke baad mein breakfast there ke, then I will rest for the clinic. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Ye achha hai, aur hum log jo abhi jo shuru kar rahe hai almost everybody has responded. Some may join, some may not join. Dr. Adil, glad to see you. Oh, Kasim Bhai. Namaste. Yeah. Kasim sir. Pranam Mela. Aap hai to achcha laga. It's really good. So, achchi baat hai. Kaafi log jur rahe hai kyunki after all, everyone remember Dr. Vishpala and our old fraternity. Most of them are here. We are 15 now. Yes, people are joining. Let's wait hmm. for a couple of minutes. So other people who are dignitaries are going to join. So let us.
डॉक्टर दिमंत इज जॉइन फ्रॉम कैनेडा ग्रेट गुड पार्ट सो वी गोट इंटरनेशनल लीडर एंड इंटरनेशनल पीपल हु आर जॉइनिंग विथ अस वी आर वेटिंग फॉर अक्षय आल्सो सर हम ये जो आज कर रहे हैं ना दैट वे बिगिनिंग लेकिन सचमुच तो काम अभी शुरू हो रहा है अभी तक हमने जो पावन ईयर काम किया दैट वॉज अ बेसिक तो ये सब में जिसका भी जो भी आइडिया है ना दे कैन इवन राइट डाउन इन द ग्रुप अपना फाउंडेशन ग्रुप में एंड दे कैन सेंड देयर सजेशंस दैट व्हाट वी कैन डू समथिंग पर्टिकुलरली कासिम भाई ने आदिल भाई आई विल टेल यू कि आप भी कुछ ना कुछ सजेशन भेजे आर्टिकल्स भी भेजे रेगुलरली क्योंकि वी नीड टू लर्न वी नीड टू शेयर द थिंग्स ऐसे कुछ लोग हैं जो काफ़ी दिनों के बाद एक्चुअली ज्वाइन हो रहे हैं तो एवरीबडी इज वेलकम हमने सबको आठ बजे का टाइम अदरवाइज दिया था कि वी कैन हैव टेन मिनट्स टॉक ऑन आवर ऑन I have to all those who are coming for the World Homeopathic Day tomorrow. Yes. The uh, I'll I'll be coming there. Maybe I'll come. I'll meet you. I'll be there. Morning hours, I'll be there. Night you're coming. Yes, morning. No, no. I'll be there. Morning hours, I'll be there. Morning hours, I'll be there. Then after that, I'll leave. Ah, uh, kindly go through the program. You know, on the net. You know. Yes. Okay. Time is there because ah, uh, the the inaugural session, है ना? हम्म तो उसी बिकॉज़ ऑफ द प्रेजेंस देयर आर लॉट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी इश्यूज या तो जल्दी आना पड़ेगा आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड अरे फ्लाइट मॉर्निंग की है तो आई विल बी देयर बाय 8 8:30 ओके हॉल पे आ जाऊंगा मतलब हमारा फ्लाइट वहां 8 बजे के पहले पहुंच रही है तो विद इन हाफ एन आवर कौन से टर्मिनल पे है आपके अह T2 T2 पे है T2 पे पे ही जो है राइट वहीं से बाहर से बेसिंग वुड भी या तो आप कैब ले लीजिएगा राइट T3 पे तो वो मेट्रो भी है राइट राइट नहीं टू टू से कैब ले लेंगे तो ये हॉल तो नजदीक ही ऐसा मुझे बताया विद इन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स यू कैन रीच विद इन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स यू रीच गुड गुड तो विल बी रीचिंग एंड प्लीज एंड प्लीज रीच एट द गेट नंबर सिक्स अच्छा गेट नंबर सिक्स ओके तो बिकॉज़ दैट इज़ द आर्मोस्ट एट द रेसिशन काउंटर ओके गुड आपने अच्छा क्या बताया <laughs> यहाँ से काफी लोग आ रहे हैं गुजरात से <laughs> हमारे डॉक्टर कल्पित जी तो काफी स्टूडेंट्स को लेके आ रहे हैं पहुंच जाए होंगे शायद आज एक्चुअली शायद पहुंच जाएंगे जिन लोगों का रिसोर्स पर्सन में है उनका रजिस्ट्रेशन काउंटर वो जो है थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट है राइट डेलीगेट से उनका डिफरेंट है हां तो विल बी इन द एट प्रेजेंट दे आर ऑल डेलीगेट्स एक्चुअली ओके मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर डेलीगेट्स क्योंकि पूरा दो दिन रुकने वाला नहीं है will attend the inaugural function or dupar tak rukenge we will do if sham ki flight hai rat ko aane ke liye acha kali wapsi hai rat ko ha kali wapsi hai rat sham ko okay okay is a working day aur dr hanman ko yaad karke bhi kaam karna chahiye hmm unke bare mein sune bahut achi baat hai lekin baad mein kaam bhi kare to 8 baj gaye ha yes So let's begin our talk. I think I think we are at the right time. It's eight a.m. Hmm. So, dear friends, happy New Year to all of you. Today, kafi acha din hai, guri padwa ka. Or ninth, actually ninth December was our day when we remember Dr. Vishwala. It was her birthday, and then ninth is the date that we remember for her 
every time. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, today is 9th of December, and 9th of April. Mm -hmm. So 9th is the figure we maintain. And then Guri Padwa, the Shubh day, is the auspicious day. And we begin our journey with this good wishes from all of you. I also wish a happy new year to everybody. We are beginning a journey on the footprint of Dr. Vishwala Parsarthi. She had been a great teacher in so many ways. Rather, she was a pathfinder, or I will say pathbreaker or pathmaker. She made her own way to go ahead to teach homeopathy, to learn homeopathy, to share homeopathy. And that was wonderful. She was a warm human being, as everybody knows, whoever had been to her house or whoever met her will never forget her. She was a passionate teacher. Anybody ask anything and she will answer. A dedicated healer to all her patients. If something goes wrong, she will ask somebody else what can be done. And ever evolving personality. Such a great person she was. Every day she was evolving herself. These are the few adjectives I can use for her to describe her personality. She was a mentor and guide to various homeopaths, practicing one, newer one, or even the students one. And that she has done it innumerable times in very, uh, various ways, actually. She was a mentor in a true sense. She will teach not only to practice homeopathy, she will teach everything. A lot of uh, our female doctors are aware that even she will teach cooking or housemaking, a lot many other things. Irrespective of her, of her age, actually, she was always a friend available to everybody. And anybody can count on her. When she says, yes, it will be done, then you can count on her. Her commitment to science was unparalleled and it was great. NGH actually was a brainchild. She and her mother and the group that worked with her, they conceived and nurtured this NGH for almost 31 years, from 92 onwards till 2023. She envisioned creating the largest homeopathy content. You know, there are very few people, publishers are different part, but as a magazine, as a doctor, very few people who have this much content of various school of homeopathy, various articles, various cases, and creating a largest homeopathy content, both in print and digital media also. In pursuit of which she involved both seasoned and novice homeopathic doctors. She had an enviable editorial board of nearly 30 people who were committed homeopaths from all over the country or even some of them were out of the country. And they worked with her dedicatedly. Actually, it was her wish to create a foundation. Last July, on 16th July actually, she called a meeting at her house where all of us, all editorial board members, met together, discussed a lot many things. She stayed for the entire day. We stayed there for the entire day. Many, many things, though she was not well physically, she made it a memorable day for all of us. And at that time, in her presence, we decided it was her wish and she proposed and the foundation is to be established. A Homotic Journal of India Foundation was created and we discuss what we can do in future. The foundation's purpose is to continue the activities previously executed under the banner of NGH. Almost all members who work with her are part of the foundation. 
of our colleague, Dr. Pranan Kumar is going to introduce them after my talk. He will introduce one by one who are the foundation members. The foundation will publish a thematic journal, which NGS was doing earlier, a topic or a Mater America or a organ. Something has been taken as a one theme and then people, the senior ones, even the younger ones are asked to write an article on it, give cases on it. And then that was printed with comments, editorial, a lot of any other things. So we would like to have that thematic journal would be published every month, just like the NGH. The each journal is named as International Journal of Homeopathy, IGH, instead of NGH. It was a national one, and we would like to go out of country also, so let it be an International Journal of Homeopathy. Our colleague, Dr. Rajit Kulkarani, is an issue editor for the first issue. So he will talk about the first issue after Dr. Paradigma's talk and introduction. So I will leave it to that point there only. As of now, the journal will be on the digital platform. As all of you are aware, print media, a lot of people are not reading properly or at times become very costly also. So we decided that without any cost, at least for three months, we will provide the e-journal to whoever downloaded it or registered himself. And that will be given a choice to you after our, uh, this function. There will be a nominal charges afterward, after three months, depend on the expenses that we can calculate. As of now, it is only digital. Foundation will also run various activities related to the homotic learning, particularly on every third Friday. In future, we may change it to Saturday or Sunday. Every month, one webinar with one of the senior most homeopaths who can talk about a subject or topic and people can ask questions and people can learn out of it. And that activity was done in COVID era for almost three years. We would like to continue it again from next month onwards. There would be CM is every Thursday, which she herself started. She continued for two years. Every Thursday, she was talking about various Mater America or various uh, medicines from the Mater America. And we would like to continue that one hour talk on every Thursday by one of the good homeopaths, a part of the board, board member. He will still take care of or he will take care of it. Then there is a, another activity on Telegram, which we started earlier. And we'll again restart it where a case will be put before the audience, students particularly. They will discuss it. They will give ideas of the medicines, the reason for them choosing their medicines, etc. And then gradually, how the case was solved and how the doctor uh, decided the remedy, that will be given as a by the author, by the person who has given that case. So this group actually sharpens the mind of the students to understand how and why various methods of selecting a remedy works and people go for that. Apart from the trends, all this and much more began with Dr. Vishwala. She was the beacon of light for all of us to work or to do this particularly foundation work. It will actually broaden, broaden our Origins and homeopathy. And in a true sense, I will say, she has not lived in vain. Though it, the sentence is taken from the term of Dr. Henneman, but it is related to her in a different way. She had done everything possible to learn, to teach, to practice, to live homeopathy. And so I'll say she had not lived in vain. The remembrance issue is just one way to commemorate and remembrance an enthusiastic, passionate, and noble soul with her most beloved creation. So many, many friends uh, joined who had been with the part of the 
board, board members, or part of the foundation. And apart from that, many dignitaries, many other doctors and students and even patients, they have contributed their memories with Vishpala in this remembrance issue. And today, here with, uh, I will request Priti to share the first of the front page of the remembrance issue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this is, the first, this is the front page of this issue. And this is what in memory of Dr. Vishwapar Sarthi. The issue, has, issue is nearly 200 pages, which gradually you can turn pages by pages and read about her. You can know her. There are a lot many things that is there in the issue. So, dear friends, uh, Dr. Priti will share the slide where you have to write down your name and registration number or name, etc. And then you can download the issue. And here we, we are releasing this issue with thanks to all of you, the board members, the dignitaries, and many, many other friends who have written about her, who had taken, who were part of the NGS team. We are thankful to everybody. Thank you very much for listening to me. And let's uh, have this idea, the uh, form again, Dr. Priti, on which they can go for downloading. Right. So this NGIF, you have to open that site. And you have to name, first name, last name, email, mobile, and if additional feedback, and then send it. So the issue will be downloaded. She's showing you. So this is the way it's downloaded. It are 175 pages. So a lot of people have contributed. So thanks, Doctor. We are realizing this issue in memory of Dr. Vishpala. Thank you. I will hand over to Dr. Pramin for introduction of our board members. Dr. Pramin Kumar. I hope he's there. Many, he's there. Yeah. Good yeah. morning. Now I got it. Good morning. Good morning. Really a hearty congratulations to everybody here. The first issue, memorial issue, has been launched digitally. So it's very heartening to see our Vishpala's uh, photo and our issue. So claps. It's great, great day and new year Ugadi Shubha Kangshalu for us in Telugu today is a new year. It starts a very auspicious day. It's a very good day today. So obviously it's a very good day for HJIF and IJH. But I would say my friends would agree it's an old wine in new bottle. The bottle is only changed IJH but the wine is of NJH. So there may be few people who are missing. One, first of all, the man who was appearing since morning, Dr. Bhaskar Bhatt, the senior most personality in homeopathy. He is our leader. He is our advisor. He is our mentor rather now for HJIF. He has been practicing homeopathy since 1978 in Ahmedabad. So you can see the country is led by Gujus and our IJH is also led by Gujus. Earlier also it was Guju only. So no issues. We agree with that. And we are happy with them. Right? And uh, he is associated with Hari Charitable Trust. Lot of dispensaries in Ahmedabad. He is a trustee in Dr. R.K. Desai Samarpan Trust. And he worked as a medical officer in ISRO 
I don't know whether his hand is there in Mangalyan or not. I don't know. And uh, he also worked as homeopathic panel doctor to ONGC. So that is the reason why he runs his vehicles without any petrol expenditure. And the other senior man whom we have, Dr. Asrani, he himself always says he is not homeopath, but he is more homeopath than allopath. Though he teaches allopathy, he teaches clinical methods, but I keep telling everywhere, he is almost a converted homeopath. A converted Christian is more fanatic. So he has a lot of things. He is a great critic. He is a very good guide for us. He, the greatest point in him, the quality in him is, whatever might be the situation, whoever might be the speaker, he would come forward and tell, this is a mistake. It has to be corrected. That's what we want, a critic. He is a right critic. And he is a family physician. He has done MBBS, DNB as well. 47 years of practice. Dr. Bhatt, since 1978, Dr. Asani, 47 years of clinical practice. And he has been associated with Dr. Sarla Sonawala, the mother of Dr. Vishpala. And Dr. Vishpala, since 1978. And he is, in fact, uh, into the foundation of NJH, formation of NJH as well. Now, if I may introduce all my friends, colleagues in IJH or AJIF, Dr. Ketan Shah, MD, he has done. He has 34 years of clinical experience. And he is a professor in Metro America, in the Homeopathic Medical College there. And the greatest thing I like him in, in him is he is a tube man of homeopathy, YouTube. So he is fully with YouTube and he has a lot of uh, presentations on YouTube. He is passionate about homeopathy and dedicated to advancing the field and improving patient care. And he is also known to many audience of NJH webinars that he is very master in searching rubrics in different repertories. And we have an international editorial board member, Dr. Akshay Bunker. He has done a lot of work here in Gujarat. He was a principal also and professor also earlier. And he is practicing since 1987. Immigrated to Canada in 2010. Now he is practicing in Toronto. And he is also a faculty member in College of Homeopaths of Ontario. He has teaching experience and clinical experience of more than 36 years. Then we have Dr. Sunita Binikum, who is associated with MLD. Institute in Palgar. He is a, she is a professor and HOD there, 21 years of experience in teaching, and she is recognized as a guide in psychiatry. Dr. Yogesh Niturkar, he completed his MD from Metro America in Metro America, and he did his post graduation from MLD Institute. He is now practicing classical homeopathy since 18 years. And he has tremendous teaching experience of 18 years in Latur as a lecturer and assistant professor. Then Dr. Lata Devarajan, our voice in Bengaluru. She is very prolific writer, speaker, and a presenter. She has been presenting her cases very lucidly, very perfectly in many, many international and national seminars. She is on our editor editorial board. And we are very proud to have her here. She is a research fellow of Aisha as well. And Dr. Mithal Joshi, I think she is second last person to join our foundation, if I am not wrong. The last person could be Dr. Kalpit Sangvi. Okay. So Dr. Mithal Joshi, she has been practicing since 2002. And she is an assistant and consultant at private and trust clinics. She has a lot of involvement in many, many social services and teaching clinical methods to many people in different places. And she is authored a book as well in her Gujarati language. Then we have the most senior, most other, another personality, Dr. R. N. Wahi. He is very well known all over the country, senior most personality. And he is chairman and or of organizing committee, South Delhi Homeopathic Association, which conducts a lot of seminars, clinical activities in Delhi. And he is CEO of Homeopathic Pharmaceutical Association of India. He is director of International Homeopathic Foundation also. We have our most dynamic editorial board member, Dr. Shobha Shah. She has done MD, SCPH, practicing homeopathy since 34 years. And she is on our editorial book. 
board. She has been content editor also. And she has shared more than 100 cases in our NJH earlier. And she would be doing it also. You won't miss her in IJH as well. And she is a mentor at Dr. Mukesh Batra's academy also. She was presenting her scientific papers in various state and international conferences. And she is also attached to a lot of YouTube activities. Dr. Ema Parikh. She is the chocolate girl of our IJH. And she is a professor there in uh, Baroda. And she was instrumental in conducting our conference there in JH last SSMS uh, when Vishpala was alive. It was her last. So executive trustee of Homeopathic Education Charitable Trust in Vadodara, head department of pediatrics at Srimati Malini Kishore Sangvi Hospital and Educational Complex. And she heads Umid Cerebral Palsy Center. Very great. And I have my classmate, Dr. Ardashir T. Jagos. He was my classmate in MD. He's practicing homeopathy since 40, 36 years. And he's an academician and an author as well. He wrote a few books. He's a professor teaching Argonon at Dr. D.Y. Patil Homeopathic Medical College in Pune. He's constantly updating his knowledge on the recent developments in the field of homeopathy, which is very much needed for everybody. Dr. Asrani always tells, you should be abreast with the latest things. You can't be in a well, right? And he presented several scientific papers in national and international conferences. We have another vibrant lady who would never mince words to not to accept any proposal if it is not like to her liking, Dr. Vrushali Saraswat. She has been practicing for the last 23 years. She has conducted more than 70 webinars. If the question of webinars comes, probably we have to beat Krutiksha. He has done a lot of work there. So I think she is competing with him. And she has benefited more than 26,000 participants. She specializes in enhancing the happiness. Her clinic also, if I remember happiness, homeo clinic or happiness, holistic clinic. So she gives happiness to everybody. And she is a great mentor, psychological uh, counselor as well. Founding member of Homeopathic Journal India Foundation. And she is a gold medalist in PG Homeo London. Then we have Dr. Pradeep Garge, one of our close friends, great practitioner, very active worker from Aurangabad. Aurangabad has got a duplicate Taj Mahal. Now we have got a duplicate uh, Hanuman there. So Dr. Pradeep Garge, he is practicing since 33 years. He is on editorial board since 1991 on our NJH editorial board. He learns through teaching. And he has special interest in treating autism, mental retardation, cerebral palsy, and learning disabilities. So you can tie up with Dr. Hema Parik. Now we have another very active worker, always doing a lot of labor work. I should not call it as, but labor work, I should call it as. And he is a very teammate of Rama Aryanan in enacting a lot of things there. Dr. Satish P. Kanojia. Whenever we have SSMS, he would be actively participating in one or the other skips. Our quiz, last time the quiz was excellent. We have copied in our Trivandrum conference as well in a DHF one. So he has been practicing since 29 years. He assisted Dr. Vishpala Partha Saradi since 2007. He is on editorial board since 16 years. He is a co-editor of IJH, author of homeopathic crossword book. It is very difficult to solve one crossword, but he has authored also, you can imagine. And we have another great personality who tries to fill in the gap, the void which has been created by Dr. Vishpala, Dr. Nirpama Agarwal. She has done a psychiatric fellowship as well, sex educator and counselor. It's a great field rather. And many of the people would shun this field, but she is very bold enough to come forward and say, I would do the counseling in these cases. This is great. We welcome you, Dr. Nirpama. She is with us since Vishpala was also there. Now she is with our IJH. And she is most more interested in teaching, practicing, and experiencing in life. PEM theory, that's what personal evolution model. And she wants to educate through that model. Then we have 
I think we should have a tie. Dr. Fatima should be the youngest. Who is youngest? We'll see Aadhar card and decide who is the youngest. Dr. Fatima, she is practicing homeopathy since 11 years under the guidance of Vishpala. And she is associated with NGH. Now we'll be working with the editing team of IGH. We, have, we welcome you, Fatima. We are happy to have you with us. Rather, we are with you. Dr. Sushma Jaiswal. She is a very great personality, presenter, anchor, and great corrector of many, many articles which will come to NJH, which have been coming to. Sushma is associated with Vishpala since 2000, practicing in homeopathy since two decades, with a PG along with master's degree in psychotherapy. And the other personality, as I already mentioned, Dr. Kalpit Sangvi, I don't, I don't need to introduce him. He is so eloquent, so vibrant, so present everywhere. He has a lot of institutes. And I should tell you one thing. It is not out of place to mention. Last SSMS was conducted single-handedly by Dr. Kalpit Sangvi in Rajkot. And we enjoyed that. We still remember those moments forever, forever. In fact, IJH is indebted to you, Dr. Kalpit. So we are happy to have you on our board. And you would do a lot of work for us. And you are there. When you are there, we are not worried about our organizing anything. Yes, Thank you, Dr. Kalpi. Uh, then we yes, have our uh, another uh, close okay. friend, Dr. Shaji Kuti from Trivandrum. Uh, sir, just we, 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 time to we need you to tell. Uh, Ravind, sir, you are on mute. Oh, I don't know. Now unmute. Where did I leave? Dr. Kalpit Sangvi, did you hear what I spoke? Yes, we heard. Uh, Dr. Shaji Kutti's introduction, we couldn't hear, sir. Okay, right. Now I come to Dr. Shaji. Shaji, you are lucky. I am speaking two times about you. He is my close friend there in Trivandrum. He was IHMA president as well. And he has conducted, organized several conferences. And he has given a promise to Vishpala also that he would conduct one SSMS in Trivandrum. You owe it, Shaji. Now, next time we will have in Trivandrum. So he has been practicing homeopathy for a long time. And he is into government service also. And he is very active in homeopathy. And he has been helping uh, IJH, NJH everywhere. Then Dr. Shahala Nadaf. She has done MD in philosophy, gold medalist from RGUHS. And she has done a master's in counseling and psychotherapy also. We, we have many psychos in our, uh, sorry to use that word, in our uh, IJH board, right? Psychotherapist. I should use it completely. Dr. Shala, right? So she has done fellowship course also in dermatology. She has been presenting a lot of dermatological cases in our uh, conferences, SSMS earlier as well. She is very successful practitioner of homeopathy since last 23 years. She has been a professor in the Department of Argonon and Homeopathic Philosophy in Belgaum. She comes from Belgaum, Belgaum. Then we have Dr. Ajit Kulkarni. Then I asked Dr. Fatima to write a brief profile about Ajit Kulkarni. She said it runs into two pages. I can't give you. So now Ajit Bhai, I call him as Ajit Bhai. We are very close friends. So he is known to the whole world, not just IJH India. Whenever I call him, he says, I am in Belgium, I am in some Belgrade or some other place because the I know very little about geography. So the names also I may not remember. He has been on the run and uh, like he is our Modi of uh, homeopathy. He is less in India, more in foreign countries. So Dr. Ajit Kulkarni has written a lot of books as well. The latest books is all, book is also very well. Whenever he writes a book, Unfortunately or fortunately, I will get a complimentary copy. And unfortunately or fortunately, he calls me after a few weeks, have you read it? So I must read it to tell him. So this is the problem. Usually I am not a reader. But he is such a great prolific writer, great practitioner. He spends a lot of time with each case and solves it such a beautiful way. And last time when we had in Baroda SSMS, he presented a very beautiful lucid case with a lot of information. So we are very proud to have Ajit Bhai and you will be the first 
editor of IJH. We are, it is a great honor. You are taking the seat of Vishpala. You are welcome to IJH, Dr. Ajit Bhai. Then we have Dr. Rama, Rama Hariharan. Very, very intelligent and great personality from Chennai. And she also acts in skits in our in SSMS. She helps Satish and both of them and including her vibrant daughter as well, who comes from UK. All three of them, they enact. In fact, last time Dr. Kalpit Sangvi told, of all the presentations, the skit was beautiful. So you can imagine, right? So our presentations were not that bad, but she over, rather overdone her duty as a skit performer. Rama Hariharan has been a great homeopathy practitioner. She started with her mentor, Dr. Ranga Krishnan. And she is into NA, she in fact thanks MLDH, NH, Swara, all these organizations and including NJH also for giving her opportunity and keeping her in, uh, in their fold. So she is a very great uh, contributor for our IJH and she deals with a lot of uh, um, NJH bites earlier she used to along with Rama, uh, Lata, they used to deal with. I don't know whether it would be continued now because we are doing everything of NJ. Probably it would be continued later as well. Then we have Dr. Vaishali. Dr. Vaishali Bhagat, the other day I was with her in Pune. She is a vice principal in Bharati Vidya Peet Homeopathic Medical College and Hospital. Now probably she may be in Delhi. She is going to attend that great program. So they, Dr. Vaishali is an associate professor earlier uh, professor now actually she is vice principal in Bharti Vidya Pet and she is attached to postgraduate department and research center and she has taken me to anatomy because I uh, really would have gone to anatomy dissection all long long ago in my first year or second year it's great as a principal I went several times so that's great and in fact I told her you will be like Dr. Kent because Dr. Kent also started as a as an anatomy teacher right then these are my people and Dr. Vaishali has got more than 29 years of professional experience. These are my people in IGH and I don't need to tell you about me because I am Dr. Praveen from Hyderabad and I am a retired principal of JSPS. I am with NJH since 1992. Now I am with IGH also. Thank you very much. Now I hand it over to Dr. Bhaskar Bhatt. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, sorry, if I, if, I, if I have missed anybody, I am sorry because this is the list given to me. And there are few of our friends in NJH who could not join. Probably they would join very soon. Right, right, right. That's a good thing. Uh, I will request Dr. Ajit Kulkarni to talk about the issue and the release the issue. The first issue of our International Journal of Homeopathy. Dr. Kulkarni, please. Good morning, everyone. And uh, first... At the outset, this privilege, this honor given to me for being the editor of the dermatology is actually not only related to one issue. I mean to say that the memory of this will lie with me to be cherished. This is basically because the legacy of Vishpala the continuation of this legacy with more than 20 dedicated homeopaths working together symbiotically reflects the love for homeopathy and the togetherness value in today's modern complex life. I really acknowledge everyone's contribution. I know how many hours each one has to spend is coming to the today's program. When I started reading the dermatological issue, it is a very rich issue. So many cases, so many photographs, so many experiences of the homeopaths, how homeopathy helps. I think this issue is also giving us something because of the e-journal, very good photographs of the color, the realistic visual photos with amelioration photos too. So 
so you have been practically tested in the crucibles of time when a homeopath has to confront the so called evidence based medicine this is very important although our mentor dr b m hegde today calls evidence based medicine as evidence burden medicine <laughs> everyone must read this very carefully the timing changing very rapidly our responsibilities are to changing and we are continuing with all our dedication this vigesh of vishpala only the name has changed but the blessings of vishpala the inspiration of vishpala will remain forever for us and i think with this kind of the work which we have been able to put in i am very confident that there is a very bright future for not only of our journal but for homeopathy in future maybe we are confronted with n number of obstacles to progress in future so while giving you the nuts and bolts of this first issue i am really satisfied there are many authors unknown to me but the way in which they have given their cases and analyze the cases i really appreciate them there are cases of lichen planus there are cases of psoriasis there are cases of vitiligo there are cases of atopic dermatitis and eczematous dermatitis the names are legion because our skin is the largest organ in our body so we have ample cases and i'm very happy that no one has written just copy and paste from many other books and only written the theory and this is i think one of the best contributions from homeopaths in future also i see young generation also writing very well they are eager to write and i think this platform of now international homeopathic journal under the foundation will be a big platform from them to blossom themselves and to present homeopathy in its rationality and scientificity so i acknowledge everyone's contribution i appreciate from the bottom of my heart and i wish everyone involved here to enjoy the science of homeopathy and let us work together for the cause of homeopathy thank you all thank you dr ajit uh, dr prithiven just give that slide again how to download that issue so this is the issue that everyone can download from the website and this is the way it is it goes uh but thanks a lot people will take care of it i think and after at the end of this our meeting again give it again to the people i will request dr wahi as yes, dr asani has left because he is has got some commitment somewhere so i will request dr wahi to give a talk to thank the people who have been who have been here dr wahi sir unmute yourself Yes. Thank uh, you. Sir, can we share the uh, form in chat so that people who are right now here can immediately download it? Right, right, right. Yes, we can share. We can share it. Doctor Preeti, can uh, you share the form in the chat? I'm sharing. I'm sharing. At the yeah, same time, you. I think in in case it is available on the website, so that would be still better. So it's on the website. website. It's on the website. So I'll give a link uh, to the website where the form is to be filled. Okay. okay. So anyway, now I have been interested with the responsibility of uh, concluding this today's session. It was a sudden; it has come as a sudden shock, just like an acute condition. <laughs> Only anyhow, and and uh, as you know, Doctor Ajit Kulkarni said, uh, times are changing. 
all of us, you know, we have to mold ourselves according to the changing times. On this issue, on this subject, I would like to say that all those you know, who have studied to understand Hanuman, I would say that you know this comes as homeopath, it, it comes automatically in our genes. And we faced a lot of challenges, and even subsequently, and in spite of all the challenges faced by the system of medicine, at all the times, all the stages, right from its inception, it has continued to grow. And last of all, when uh, there was recently the G20, there again, thanks to our government, uh, it was officially recognized that all the traditional systems of medicine, all, all the so-called complementary and alternative, of course, these systems are called. So they will be the and now all these, they have been accepted by G20 countries now. So that's a good thing. And uh, when we have got a very good team, dedicated team, and as pointed out by Dr. Praveen Kumar, that it is old, old wine in a new bottle. Only the bottle has changed, the contents they own. And you know that the amount of Daru is old, it's good and it's good. So I am confident <laughs> As in then, jitna hum log jitna aage progress karenge, utna hi zada qualitative and as well as quantitative improvement. Because you know, we are taken as a platform to international journal. So obviously, we have to uh, not only continue with the our earlier standard, we have to improve it depending on the needs of the time. And to all those who are present here, present here, and all those who have been the regular subscribers of for me of uh, I uh, NGH. My request and my session to all of them is please continue your association as you have been continuing for a long time. We have got a very good team and then uh, I am finding the Dr. Kasim Bhai still there. I mean, such senior people, they are always ready to guide us. Introduction of all of you, I mean, it has been already given very nicely uh, in a very humorous way as he is always, Dr. Praveen Kumar. It's always nice to talk to you because, you know, humor, you know, it is, as it is called, the doctor is the best medicine. So, Dr. Praveen Kumar is definitely an inspiration for all these things. With that, uh, with best wishes, and uh, today we have got attendance, you know, it has reached 85 participants. I'm confident that the stage is not limited to 85. All those and it will continue to uh, increase in a geometrical progression. That's what I wish. And I'm confident that you know all of us will be motivated to do this or to carry out this legacy further. Thanks to all of you. Thank you, Dr. Vai. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. And thank you. We'll take leave of you. We'll meet thank again. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Priti will, sorry, not Priti, but Priti will close the session. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, I put the link in the comment uh, chat box. Uh, that, that's I will share this that's link good. on the groups as well. Yes. That, that's good. Thank you. Sure.